So, Sheikh, I know the hadith about the, I kind of know it about the Arabian Peninsula where, like, we can't really have other religions other than Muslims. But the thing is, I have my dad working in Airbnb and I kind of work with him. So, maybe non believers can enter the apartment. Is my income haram? Now, this is something that is way above your pay grade in the sense that. The instruction and the order of the Prophet ﷺ not to allow other than Islam to remain in the Arabian Peninsula has been explained by scholars in many different ways. Among them is that they should not uh, reside and they should not be from the people permanently living there, building their Mes uh, their uh, temples, building their churches, building their synagogues. This is totally prohibited for the Muslim and this prohibition is in the neck of the Muslim ruler. If he defies this and if he does not care about what the Prophet ordered والسلام, he'll be held accountable among a bunch of things on the Day of Judgment. So this is not for you and me to decide. As a Muslim, when you meet a non-Muslim who is in the Arabian Peninsula, there's nothing wrong in dealing with them nicely, treating them nicely, renting them BNB, uh, Airbnb or a hotel room or selling them groceries or uh, um, having commercial uh, ties with them. There's nothing wrong in that and Allah knows best.